Hi there. Hi there. My name's Mishra, I'm one of the final year medical students. Yeah. Can I ask your name? Yes, it's David Bargena. And what's your date of birth? The 7th of the 9th, 1987. Okay. David, I'd like to examine your neck today, okay. which will involve looking at your neck and then feeling some of the glands and structures of your head and neck. Right. Does that sound alright? That sounds fine. Great. Can I ask you to sit in this chair? Sure. David, can I ask you to unbutton the top two buttons of your shirt? Sure. Have you noticed any lumps recently? I have. I've noticed a lump just on the bottom part of my neck, yeah. Okay. And is it causing you any pain at the moment? Um, not at the moment, no. Okay. Are you comfortable as you are? Yes. Great. Do you mind if I just widen your shirt collar a little fine. bit? Okay. I'm just having a look now. Okay. I'm going to have a feel of some of the glands around your neck now. Thank Just you. tell me if that causes you any pain. Sure. Is this the lump here that you were talking about? It is, yes. Okay, and is it causing you any pain? Uh, not at the moment, no. Okay. And just let me know if I cause you any pain. Can you turn your head to the left for me? And now to the right. And just straight ahead. I'm just going to listen to it with my stethoscope. Okay. Thanks, David. That's the end of the examination. You can do your buttons up now. Okay, thank you. On examination of David's neck, he was comfortable at rest, and there were no signs on general inspection. On further examination of the neck, I noted a one centimetre smooth mass in the right-sided posterior triangle of the neck. On closer palpation, the mass was smooth, freely mobile, and not attached to the overlying skin or underlying muscle. It was non-tender. There were no changes to the overlying skin, and the mass was not pulsatile, and there were no bruise. My top differential would be a lymph node, but I would also consider an epidermoid cyst or a lipoma. To further investigate, I'd like to take a full history and examination, and I would also consider an ultrasound of the mass and consider fine needle aspiration cytology. Thank you.